Good morning. I'm recording this episode at nine o'clock a.m. Eastern. In the last episode, we added two pitchers to the squad, two diamonds, John Franco and Houston Streets, rookie of the year card, a 90 and an 87 overall go into our bullpen. And honestly, we're gonna need that. We already have four diamonds in the pen. This is the fastest we've ever upgraded our bullpen to what I feel like we could make world to maybe add one more guy in here, maybe replace either Kirby Yates or Karen check with another good diamond righty. And I think this is a, this is a bullpen we can make world series with. Now we got to start talking about these arms that start the game going today is going to be Logan Webb with just that 71 hits per nine. He does have a good pitch mix, five pitches, starting with the sinker, top to bottom cutter, slider, change up fastball lineup is not going to change from the last episode. We've been smacking the ball around a bit lineup's going to be Corey Seager Juan Soto is the only addition he's going to go in the two hole and play right field he's also playing up today plus 12 lefty so he's absolutely gooned Corey Seager Juan Soto Spencer Torkelson Ryan Howard Mookie Betts Pablo Sandoval Brandon Lau and Chris Bryant what's up guys welcome back to pack squads as always rules are down below in the description box if you're new simple we're going to play one game we're going to open packs after the game the amount of packs or the type of packs that we open are going to be based on how we perform in the game. In the last episode, we stayed undefeated on the pack squad team, and we eventually got that rage quit to get a second diamond pack. And once again, this year, we're getting a lot of rage quits early in the year. And honestly, we need it because we're not going to be down here at this level of ranked ever again. Unless SDS wants to come out and say we all go back to zero at the start of every season. I'm all for that, but we're never going to be below like 650 again. So I'll take these diamond packs now squads looking solid so far mostly gold low tier diamonds here bench is solid with a lot of power the panda man's behind the plate switch hitter we haven't done a lot of damage with him yet ryan howard had his first lot bad game in the last episode overall he is seven for ten with a home run and a double. And even in that last game, he just kind of got off to a slow start. He's been hitting everything hard. Already in the running for our offensive MVP keeper next season. I want to talk about packs a little bit right now, guys. You got me thinking about chase packs. I didn't account for chase packs when I was putting together the rules for pack squads. And I really didn't know how to incorporate them. So when pack squad started, I was just like, look, if we pull a chase pack out of a standard pack, we'll rip it. And that's really all we had. Then you guys came up with the idea that at every 50 packs, we can trade those in for one chase pack to give us one really good shot at a diamond. I actually think that's a great idea. You get a chase pack uh, as a topper when you purchase 50 packs. So in all reality, you have a one in 50 shot at getting a diamond through a standard pack. So if you open 50 packs on average, you're gonna get a diamond pack. Usually gonna get one diamond out of 50. Sometimes you'll get none and then other times you'll get four, usually none. The chase packs give you a one in two shot at a diamond player. Every other chase pack on average is gonna give you an 85 plus player and every 15 chase packs, you're gonna get a 90 plus overall. So these packs give you a significant significant increased shot at a diamond versus your regular standard pack. We can now trade 50 standards for a chase if we choose. Early season one, season two, I think that's a good option. Also, one thing I wanna note, set two headliner, which I have sitting here, the Billy Wagner card. As you guys know, if you've been following along, we've already pulled Billy Wagner twice. Now, I am not gonna be opening this set two headliner pack. We are gonna act as if it doesn't exist. We are then gonna bring this pack back into play next season let's say we don't keep billy wagner on our team as our cy young pitcher we're only gonna have one pitcher at the start of the next season we may need to add billy wagner again so then next season when we refresh the team again the set two headliners can then become another pack that we chase to try and get billy wagner back in our bullpen for next season so i'm not going to open that anymore this season since we already have billy wagner we're going to act like it doesn't exist and potentially go after him later again so far in season one we are four and oh and we are holding a rating of 239 there's a 200 point gap between regular season and all-star so we probably have two games before we get there at the pennant race reward pack we're going to get a gold player choice and again the goal of pack squads is to make world series we have one season to do it dontrell willis cal ripken jorge posada are the 
rewards we get to choose from and we get to keep that reward as a base player on the team at the start of next season which i'm pumped about but we got to get there to make that happen so let's make it happen guys four and oh let's make it five and oh today before we hop in though just want to remind you you can get 20 bucks off your tickets at seat geek with code shelfie if you're looking to go to a baseball game any order of $30 or more, they will take $20 off the top with code SHELFIE. And my G Fuel code starting tomorrow, April 14th until April 17th for four days, the 14th, 15th, 16th, and 17th, my G Fuel code is going up from 10% to 30 percent so if you're looking to stock up now's the time to take advantage g fuel taking care of the fam here for opening month of baseball it's time to cash in on that boys here we go home squad he's got fernando valenzuela on the mound so we're gonna see that inside edge of juan soto come into play we got lefty lefty to lead off the game but seager and soto like i said are actually both inverted with lefty good solid lefty hitting stats today Gone to Capitol Field. We're taking him to Capitol Field. He's 3 and 10. What is going on with our early matchups? Let's keep taking advantage of these matchups. He's 3 and 10, but let's treat him like he's 10 and 3. We need packs. Ground ball into the shift. That's routine, Brandon. Freddy running. Freddy, the leadoff man, sliding into first. What? This is a circus already. Ozzy into the shift. Brandon. Nice play. He didn't have as much time there, but beautiful. Woo! That is a perfect, perfect, thankfully a perfect, perfect line drive and not a perfect, perfect fly ball. And he got himself out at second because he didn't run right away. <laughs> if that would have been a perfect, perfect fly ball, it would have been a homer, but it was a line drive. It just stayed in the yard. And he must have pimped it on his end because he didn't even send Jazz. Love to see it. That's also an outfield assist plus one pack. I've been using my PCI anchor a little bit more now, getting comfortable with it middle in down that line Seegs slices it for a pack ah that's a good fastball got ahead of us though too that's a beautiful pitch all right coming up is going to be Torkelson I like this matchup with Torque here against the lefty got that fastball just off the plate I was looking fastball too he came right after us got it in a good spot oh 1-0 lots of junk early here from Valenzuela other than that one fastball three and oh with Ryan Howard on deck or pitch walk to Torkelson. There's another pack. I'm just going to keep popping up the fastball in, huh? Mook! Ah! A little out in front. Didn't hit it hard enough. Mookie bends down the line! It's crushed. It's gone! Three run bomb! Just needed to check in one time. Just needed to check in one time. Cracked! A little off the PCI. It's a little off the PCI. We'll take a three piece. Boom. All right. Griffey leads off the second with a single. We can't have nice things. Immediately going to be pitching out of the stretch, and he's threatening. Oh, our first cutter. Get a weak one off the end of the bat. In play, though. Takes off. Bad jump. Bad jump. You're way out. There's another pack in the field. Bing. But pitch backwards. Be aggressive. Get another, get another pack here. Boom! First four seam I've thrown. Bang, bang! Two more bags, just like that. Stolen bit, caught stealing in the strikeout. And now there's two outs in the second. George Brett in. I'm getting r 2 That is not a good changeup, but he's going to fly out to center. Mookie makes the play. Three up, three down. I like the swing. That went a long way to the rooftop grill. Wow, he came right back after me after that foul ball homer. Out in front again, though. Gotta throw something off speed now, right? Hang it. He hit me. Ha ha! What an at bat. KB! No doubt about it! Hanging curve! Yahtzee! I'll tell you what, being a little under the ball this year is uh the place to be. Chris Bryant with the matchup against the lefty. It's five zip. First time through the lineup. Five runs on three hits, taking advantage of everything today. Horrible hack there with, with Logan Webb. Can we get a gem today from a pitcher? We're up five early. On one. Alan Zuela is at 28 pitches already. Nobody out here in the second. Good pitch. Get away. Run, 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 run. Oh, he didn't go to the wall. We're safe. Oh, no. I don't know if it was a bad animation or if he ran the wrong way because the camera switched. I'm not sure. Seegs. 
Another knock! It gets by the outfielder now. What are we doing here, Chief? What are we doing? Is that gonna be an error or are they gonna give us the triple on that? If that's a triple, that's four packs. <laughs> Chopped it. Oh, Juan, that'll be an RBI ground. He came home with it. We're safe all around. This is about to get ugly. This is about to get ugly. Yeah, another two-pack day. Let's go. We are loving it. You absolutely love to see it. Jumps our rating up to 281. Two more diamond packs. Let's see what we got uh, standard or basic pack-wise today, and we'll get the ripping. All right, we had seven runs on four hits. We had a single, a triple, two home runs. We had a walk, a hit by pitch, one strikeout with Logan Webb. We also caught a runner attempting to steal and had an outfield assist with our center fielder, Mookie Betts. That gives us 26 basic packs to open along with our two diamonds today all right 26 basic packs first and foremost let's rip one gold will bring us down to 25 let's see who this one gold player is gonna be lucas giolito eh, i mean i'll probably use him over galsman i just flat out suck with galsman he's got that splitter i can never locate maybe we'll use giolito there next up i'm gonna finally open this jump start pack which is actually gonna give us the choice of five gold players this is going to be one of the better basic packs i should have used early on uh, but it's going to give us some options to maybe fill out the bullpen and some bench spots joey gallo we've already pulled uh, ryan mountcastle is a guy i could see his offense getting upgraded even more as the year goes on so we'll take him here second round i'm going to take rysel iglesias he can help our pen next round we already have taylor rogers let me see teoscar hernandez round number four we can do Brian Reynolds, and then last but not least, Blake Trinan. Blake Trinan can go in for Kirby Yates. I'm going to put Brian Reynolds on the squad over my guy Randy, just because of the switch hitting. So that leaves us 24 basic packs to open. We have these set four headliner packs here where we could potentially get Mariano Rivera. Let's open these five, which will knock us down to 19. Pack number one is a diamond! Pack number one has a diamond! It is not Mariano Rivera. It's Cattell Marte. That actually may really help our team out, though. That is an 85 diamond who plays up most of the time. Infield and outfield eligibility. Switch hitter. One of my favorite players in baseball, Cattell Marte. We will um, add him onto the team. I love Chris Bryant. He's been crushing it for us, but is he going to have to go? Uh, we'll slide him on for Matt Chapman for now. Still got four more of these headliners. We can still get Mariano Rivera. That's tough luck, though, getting a diamond in pack one, and it's not the feature. You're done! Absolutely going on the bench. Sorry, Schwarbs, but uh, you've, uh, you've met your match here. <laughs> your Don's just always playing up, and he hits for both sides, righty and lefty for crazy power. I got to do it. Uh, three more of these headliners. Come on. These have been solid so far. And then that one, two more. Tell me Mo though. Keep improving this bullpen. Emmanuel Class in that last pack. We already have him. And then a goal. Taylor Rogers already have him as well. Now we have 19 basic packs left. We have to once again make an in-season adjustment on pack squads here. If you go back to the first few episodes, you're going to have seen that the headliner choice packs were on the diamond wheel. The reason for that is because I didn't realize these packs didn't guarantee a diamond. I thought they guaranteed a diamond and you had an increased chance at a headliner. I didn't realize they weren't guaranteed diamond packs. You guys had to correct me on this one. These packs only guarantee a gold. They just have an increased chance at the headliner player, like Mariano for Rivera, for example. You have a one in three shot at a diamond in these packs. So much like, like the chase packs, how we're adding a trade in for these we are also going to go ahead and add a trade in for the headliner pack since they're a, a super increased chance of the diamond i don't want it to just be one headliner choice pack is one basic pack that would be too much it's going to be 50 packs for one chase pack if we want to go after the albert Pujols or the julio rodriguez and then if we want to we can trade in 25 packs for one of this the headliner choice packs if we want to open one of those 
We don't have enough to do that today. We've already started dabbling into our packs, but we can open this one in the future for just 25 basic packs if we'd like to. And I'm not kidding. That is the only rule adjustments that are gonna be happening at all in season one. I just didn't account for chase packs and the headliner choice packs because they were new in the game this year. And then I completely misunderstood what was going on with them when we started. We're good now. Their trade-ins, chase packs, headliner choice packs are officially Right in. So let's open up 19 of these standard packs. We will have two left when we're done. We've already pulled Catel Marte. And then we have two diamond packs that we are allowed to open. Not the chase packs, not the headliner packs. Two packs of guaranteed diamonds. One for the win, one for the rage quit. Taking advantage of these easier matchups early in the year in season one. Bolstering this squad. This is rough. Pack luck started solid. Cattell Marte was a good pull. We'll see, we'll see where he fits into the team here before we shut things down, of course, as well. Oh, this pack does. Oh, watch this be a big pull. This pack doesn't count. This will just be the first pack of the next episode if it's anything good. Gold. Just don't be a good gold. Okay, it's a gold we already have. I don't feel bad. Chris Bryant is 7 for 11. I love Slurpees. With four extra base hits, I don't know how I sit him down. Mookie Betts just hit a home run and threw somebody out from the outfield. He's three for six with two home runs. Brandon Lau is plus 13 against righties almost every day and has that lefty lefty power as well. He's three for 10 with two home runs. Where do we put Cattell Marte, man? I don't even know. He's got to go on the squad though. It's probably going to be for Brandon Lau. But I'm not going to make that decision unless it's inside edge base. Like if Brandon Lau's got this plus 13 and Cattell Marte's got a little one like this, I'm going to favor the guy who's hitting righties better because that's most likely the matchup that we're going to get. And then we can just use Cattell Marte as like a super utility dude off the bench. I really, 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 really like these eight position players that we have right now that we've started this episode with. I'm totally okay with doing more pitcher upgrades going forward while we use this team for now. We're not on Hall of Fame yet. We can smash with this team. Now our two diamond packs. We don't have any diamond packs. How are we gonna open up diamond packs? This is what we're gonna do. I'm getting very close to unlocking some of those face of the franchise packs on this account I've been grinding. We're gonna start the next episode with those two diamond packs and we're gonna open the packs before the game. So we're gonna take those two packs that we just got today, we'll open them at the start on the next one i gotta put a little bit more grinding into getting some packs unlocked i'm gonna get a couple of options unlocked and at the start of the next episode we'll spin the wheel twice see what two packs we're ripping jump into another game with some more upgrades so if you want to see that next episode with the diamond packs we got today you gotta smash the thumbs up down below it's probably gonna be up on friday so be on the lookout for that and yeah, a little bit of a short one today. Another rage quit. The sweaties are coming, guys. If you're new here, trust me. Once we get to like six, 700 in ranked seasons, we're going to start playing some studs with fully diamond teams, dudes that are really trying to push for World Series. Right now, I'm taking advantage of these lower ranks, really upgrading the team, trying to get as many packs as I can. We're going to lock in and take care of business. Let's go, guys. Sweaties are coming. We're going to get these dubs, though. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out. Peace.